Hi, and welcome to this in my series on introduction of vectors or introduction to vectors. Uh, we've got two forces acting on the body. The body is located at point O, and force B is eight units, and force A is five units. Meanwhile, uh, force A is horizontal and force B is 45 degrees from the horizontal. That's the orientation of force B. And 45 degrees there. And we're supposed to find the uh, resultant force. Effectively, what I'm going to do is to add this, pull this from there, and add it into that. Now, to make life easy for me, and hopefully you understand it better what I'm trying to do, I'm going to use a rectangular polar coordinate grid. So firstly, I'm going to have a force A, which is horizontal, and therefore is at zero degrees. Now I'm now going to try uh, add force B, and force B will be added at 45 degrees uh, sweep from the horizontal. And then I'm going to, I'm going to measure uh, I'm going to be, uh, this is five, six, seven, eight. So, and that's force B there. Now, to find the resultant force, I'm going to draw a line from the tail of force A to the head of force B. And uh, that's what I've got there. Okay. Now, I measure the green line, which is the resultant force, and that measures in my original drawing, and that measures seven centimeters. But I know that each of these uh, divisions uh, is five millimeters, that's five millimeters to one unit of force. And I've got 14 there, sorry, I've got seven centimeters there. That means that the, the resultant force is uh, 14 units of force, one four. I hope that makes some sense and um, to the next slide well hello and welcome to this well <laughs> welcome to the second slide uh, it's a bit more complicated than the first uh, slide essentially what we've got here if I try and paraphrase what we've got here um, uh, we're given two vectors to start off with which form a triangle uh, we got vector B A which you represent with A and vector A, C, which you present with B. And that M is the midpoint of uh, B, C. We want to write in terms of A and B, the following vectors, uh, B, C, B, M, A, M, and then we're asked to find uh, two routes to go from C to A to check our results. Right. Now, for the first one, uh, from a BC, there's no direct connection because we don't know the value of BC. So we have to go from B to A and then from A to C. So, in effect, we're going to do A plus B. So, BC is now A plus B. Next, we need to find a vector BM. And vector BM is going to be uh, a half of vector BC because M is the midpoint of BC. Okay, so we then have BM will be a half of a half into A plus B. So that's BM. Now to find AM, we need to go uh, because we, don't, we do not know the value of AM directly. So to do that, um, I have to go from A to B and from B to M, end up with, at M. So F to B and B to M there. And because I'm going against the grain as it were here, that becomes minus A. And because I'm going with the grain for BM, that will be plus there. So what I didn't have for uh, vector AM would be this here 
So I'm going to I'm got I've got minus a there, which is going from a to b against the grain, and plus a half a plus b, which is going with the grain there. And when you open up the bracket, we have that uh, it's half b minus a half a. And can you know the direction as well? Because that's important. Right now for c a, I can go from c to a directly because I know what the value is. And because I'm going against the grain, it's going to be minus b. Or I could go against the grain, go from c to m, and against the grain from m to a. Right now, from from c to m will be uh, minus a half into a plus b because uh, c to m is the same as b to m because that's half half because m uh, bisects the line bc. Of m is midpoint, so b to m is the same as c, uh, m to c. Okay, so and uh, m to c is a half a plus b because we're gonna because we're going against the grain that becomes minus half a into plus b. And then again, we're going against the grain for from m to a, we, we are going against the grain, and we know that a is a half b. Minus a half a, so it then becomes if we go from m to a will be minus a half b minus a half a, and when we open up the brackets, we have a half a minus a half b from there, minus a half b plus a half a. The half a's cancel out, so we end up with a half b minus a half b. That's equal to minus b. Okay, now for the next slide. And now for the last slide, we've got a triangle in which uh, P is uh, somewhere between A and B and uh, Q is halfway between A and C. So we need to go from P to Q and because we, we do not know the magnitude of PQ, so we need to go from P to A and then from A to Q. P to A is has, has got a magnitude of A and A to Q has got a magnitude of B. So PQ is A plus B, as we got there. Right, that's A plus B. And then we're supposed to find BC. Now BC, is, we can do it one of two ways. We can go from uh, B to A, which got a, which got uh, a magnitude of two A, and from A to C, which has got a magnitude of two um, B. So B C is two A plus two B, or two to A plus B. Or we could do from B to P, which is A, and from B to Q, which is A plus B. So up to now we've got two A plus B. And then we add b, which gives us two a plus two b. Okay, so that 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 makes sense there. Right, and so what do we know? So it, it, that means that uh, vector bc is twice vector pq. And also they are also parallel because they got the same vectors and in the same direction. Okay. I mean, we could have actually worked that out without doing all this. We could have said, well, these two triangles are, this triangle APQ and ABC are similar. Now, that being the case, um, it means that uh, BPQ was parallel to uh, BC. The question, is, the question then is, what's the magnitude? And that's what you've got here. And I hope all that made some sense and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys sometime. Bye bye.